नमस्ते वेलकम टू सिंपली ऑर्गनाइज्ड नो मैटर हाउ लार्ज आर स्मॉल यू लर्निंग क्लोज इट इज जस्ट फॉलोइंग सम सिंपल फोल्डिंग मेथड्स एंड ऑर्गेनाइजिंग टिप्स यू कैन ऑर्गेनाइज योर लर्निंग क्लोज इट दैट वर्क फॉर योर स्पेस First I took everything out of the closet and found the bed the perfect flat surface for sorting and this is the closet that I need to organize with linens Now I will show you some folding methods and organizing tips so that you can save your space and make your closet look more beautiful Most of the people keep the towels at back of the shelf too. But it may not be a convenient way while taking them out. So avoid the second row and try this method if you have deeper shelves like this. Fold the towel into half and half again. Now fold it into thirds. and again into thirds from the shorter side and one more mistake is We mostly take out the top towels which are easily accessible and even after washing we place the fresh towels back again on the top this makes it impossible to use the ones below to avoid that just after washing put those fresh towels on the bottom rather than on the top putting this way will allow all the towels to be used evenly now let's see the rolling method Fold the towel in half and now into 3. Then start rolling it from the shorter side and reach the other. Even though it looks compact, we just can't lay them like this when space matters. Laying them on top of each other may look better but they can spin up and create a mess. If you still prefer rolling your towels then having a shelf divider will help you keep them tidy. You can also make one for yourself. Take any two pieces of cardboard based on the height of your shelf and attach them together with the help of tape. Now fold the edges outwards so that they can help this divider to stand. You can cover this with anything you have to make it look neater. Now it looks much better and more manageable. Even though it spins up a little it will not create a big mess like before. You can also adjust this divider as per your requirement.
In this method, after folding the towel in half, fold one edge to the bottom like this. Now fold it into three. Now turn the other edge of the towel towards you. And start rolling to reach the end. After reaching here, fold the strap inwards and you are done. Using this method, you can easily pull them out from the below and from the middle. Nothing is untwisted and mixes up. And you can easily put a lot of towels in a medium sized basket like this. In this method, fold the towel in half and then fold it into three. Now fold one edge inwards and start folding it from the other edge. After reaching here, tuck this inside. Using this folding method, you can get neater edges from all sides. So you can neatly tuck them in baskets like this. But it is not always a better option as you may not be able to use the vertical space efficiently. Let's move on to bed sheets. After folding this bed sheet two times, I folded it again into two as shown here. Now bring both ends together and then place the pillow covers at the center. After that, I folded the bed sheet into three. In addition, to avoid the unfolding, you can also put one end of the bed sheet inside the other. And here, I was doing the same thing with other bed sheets and pillow covers as well. For a neater look, always have the cleaner side on the front. In this method, after folding this bed sheet two times, then make a fold one from the right side and one from the left side. And fold it again. Now fold it into three from the shorter side. If you have deeper shells, then this folding method will make the best use of space you have. Fold the quilts or fleece blankets into half and half again then fold into three and again into three from the shorter side
When coming to curtains, I fold them into half and half again. Now bring both the edges together but slightly downwards than the other so that you can avoid uneven folds caused by the eyelids and then have multiple folds as shown here. Now let's come to the organization part. On the top shelf, I am keeping some extra cushions that we use occasionally. And next to that, I kept my curtains. On top of that are some table runners and throw blankets. On the second shelf, I kept all my heavy bed sheets and here are some runners which I haven't used it. And next comes my fleece blankets. And this entire third shelf is only for towels. As I have enough space here, I haven't gone through any space saving folding methods. But if you have limited space, then you can try any of those methods I previously mentioned. And finally, on the last shelf, I kept all my remaining bed sheets and blankets. That's all for today and do not forget to subscribe to Simply Organized for such more videos. Thank you for watching.